Well, a very good evening to you on what is pretty close to an ideal evening for football. There is a barely a cloud evident. The world and his wife have gone to great lengths to be here for a match of great consequence and massive interest in these parts. Barely a breath of wind, so the football has no excuses for not being at its very best. The teams I know are pumped for this. They are fantastic scenes in the stands. There is a great sense of drama here, a great sense of their excitement and expectation. One glance and you know where we are. It is one of the most recognisable arenas for the beautiful game in the world. And boy, does it add to the occasion. Well, this is the perfect game for all parties, not least the neutrals who've just come to enjoy it. Well, get ready for some high-grade football, Peter. Two strong teams, as you say, full of wonderful individual talent. And we have every right to anticipate some really entertaining football. As to whether we'll see a high-scoring contest, that's a little harder to predict. I'm not complaining, though, because there are good players everywhere you look around this surface and... That's a fine start in itself. So it's away we go then. Who do you, Jim, see making the difference here? Yeah, Stefan de Vrij. He's a, a very clever central defender whose positioning and reading of the game are second to none. The way he seems to just know where a pass is headed and he steps in to make the interception, it's very impressive. He's very good on the ball too, Peter, and always looking to contribute towards the build-up play. Yeah, I'm inclined to agree. Perisic pumps it into the area. Big chance! A chance to play it in. Perisic plays it back in. Oh, shooting chance! It's a carbon copy of the previous miss. This is proving to be a very good spell. The intensity is great, but uh, they've got to make it count. And the shot! Leave it clear. Walk forward. What does he try from here? Marcelo. And it's played forward. And it's Azar. Azar! And he nearly went all the way. Azar can really show some outlandish skills, which is always welcome and obviously refreshing. Inter have made it clear what they're trying to do for me, Peter. What are they trying to do? Well, I think they're making the pitch as big as possible to work both flanks into, into better. It's Benzema! A collective sigh of relief from the defence. Well, I think the opposition was pretty sloppy in creating a problem for themselves then, but he was onto it so quickly and very nearly made them pay. Brozovic. Barrera. This is promising. Lukaku. And the shot! 
Oh, that was no routine save. Well, as Tesco, Peter, the keeper has just received an A-plus grade. Brozovic goes short. And that's been repelled. Keeper sends it forward. Well, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Yeah, the idea was right. The delivery wasn't. They can revisit that further on. Skriniar tries to get it forward quickly. Loses his balance and loses the ball. And it's Rodrigo. Oh, he's broken through. Rodrigo! Goal! Real Madrid! Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front. They really commit forward in numbers too. That was all very well drilled. So we have our breakthrough. Yeah, this is also a chance to see what happens to their level of concentration from here. Lukaku pings it out wide. Perisic goes for the cross. Valverde is there to heave it away. Could move up a gear here. Benzema. Modric. Brozovic. Done very well to intervene. Little accusatory stare there tells the whole story. Inter seem to have chosen a tougher route through the... And it's half-time here. Well, there we are, off they go for half-time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. Reflections on the first half? Well, I think there's plenty to be pleased about with that first half display in terms of the score and, and overall approach. Real Madrid come off having scored the only goal of the game so far. It's been tight, it's been exciting. And there is certainly plenty for us to chew on during the break. And we are already promptly back on the way. Well, it's been tight, Peter, but I'm expecting things to, to open up now and we get some free-flowing football. And the finish! Back of the net! Two up now, and they are cruising. Oh, high-quality goal, lovely first touch, sumptuous second. Real Madrid take a two-goal lead, and things should be comfortable from here on in. Well, at 1-0, this contest was still nicely poised, but now that it's gone to two, mindsets are affected a lot more. Winning belief one way, and that losing feeling the other. No complaints about that challenge. Robust, but fair. And here's Martinez. Ball is over the line. Modric tries lifting it over. Oh, 
Eriksson. Eriksson goes looking. Questions were asked, and he's given the answers. Skriniar, Skriniar plays it forward. Now it's Lukaku. Martinez, he hits it! Oh, that's a fine save! Well, to be honest, he shouldn't have spilled that in the first place, but he recovered it really quickly, so no harm done. Bastoni. Stefan de Vrij. Bastoni. Hoists it forward. He's got away. Martinez has a hit! It's in! Yeah, the pass was bang on, and he just had to ensure he didn't stray offside. The finish was actually bang on, too. to Milan, get themselves back into contention. Listen, goals change games, and that has changed the whole complexion of this one. They have the momentum there. He's got options out wide. Plenty waiting in the middle. Perisic. Oh, oh he's got that all wrong, and it's a penalty. And that is a huge moment in the context of the game. Well, I think the alternative was to stand there and, and do nothing while he, he tried to score, and obviously he's not going to allow that, Peter, is he? A formality! We're level! A time for a cool head, and that is precisely what he showed. Well, the keeper probably felt he could read that, but he's guessed completely wrongly. He's gone to the other side. This has become one superb game of football. Well, they're very much the better team at the moment, Peter, and, and no doubt we'll be looking to, to cause even more damage here. Now it's Modric. Rodrigo. Good clearance and very necessary. Defended. That had to be done. Bastoni gets good distance on it. Someone looks like he's in need of protection here. Yeah, and if he's allowed time on the ball, it opens up a wealth of other possibilities. He's had a look. Clears it out of harm's way. Well, both sides might have to settle for a draw here, although there's still a chance for one last fling. He's through. Good ball, it's found its target. And he's there to cut it out. The fry can hoist it clear. Now it's Lukaku. He gets past his man. Marcelo. So that's it. It is all over. Well, a game that had everything except a winner. Really watchable and honours even. How do you look back on the game then, Jim? Well, neither side could get over the line.